Hello, and welcome to Portal Revolution, the portal mod you've been waiting for. Or so they claim anyway. I have been waiting for it, well, waiting to play it. It came out back in like January, so I'm a little late to the party. I just noticed when this one came out, looked cool, but then I'd like never got around to it. And I just saw a lot of people streaming and playing and talking about this one, more so than I remember. Uh, with like Portal Stories Mel and Portal Reloaded and some of the other mods I played and like that paid one that's like Aperture Science Tag or whatever it's called with a paint. I haven't played that one myself. And yeah, people seem to really love this one. I don't know what the fuss is about, so let's let's check check that out, I guess. See why it's so revolutionary. And yeah, this part is very loud for some reason. We'll have to see about audio balancing. Options are just like normal. Uh, portal options. This I'm curious about, like Portal 1 or 2 style crosshair. I think I prefer 2 if I remember correctly, but we'll see once we get into the game, I suppose. Otherwise, it's mostly just like regular source engine stuff. Though they do seem to have like polished up some of the back end, because one of the things I hated about all the Portal mods I've ever played, including like Portal 1 and 2, is that they have some weird thing where they set your microphone level to 100% every time you launch the game and you have to, like, make an auto-exec config file to then override that and set it to what you want it to be. So that was a headache every time I've had to stream a Portal game. They've apparently fixed that in this one, so props. Good. So yeah, Chapter 1, The Human Resource. Uh, they also say, said that, like, in terms of difficulty, this one kind of picks up at the, the end of Portal 2 in terms of difficulty, and then, I guess, expands on it. We'll see if it gets too difficult for me. I kind of had some trouble with the Portal Reloaded, where it just started feeling a little too tediously difficult for me, but we'll see. It's set uh, before the events of Portal 2, apparently. That's pretty much all I know. So yeah, jump back in. Test subject, re-entry orientation graphic, do not distribute. Uh-huh. Please remain calm. Yeah, I have a feeling this might still be a little loud, but we'll see once we get into the game. Unfortunately, there's no, like, separate voice and sound effect slider. That's same as in Portal. There's just master volume and music. That's it. Yeah, this part sounds fine. I'm just kind of worried if it's going to get loud. You know, like, big crashes and booms and whatever. Uh, I guess I can look around, yeah. Good morning, test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Ow. Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. All right, here we go. It's me. Great. Like, everything looks kind of nice, but then you see the, the models and you're like, oh yeah, it's Portal 2, right? This is like a, what, 15-year-old game or something at this point? Team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem-solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. What is that saying? Please press the button Oh, just like the legal the fine print, I see. And I guess we can't do anything else. Uh, when I was testing, testing recording, I did notice this, like, isn't this floatier than normal portal jumping? I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I played Portal, so we'll Thank see. Thank you for volunteering. The door will open in three, two, one. It actually did. Yeah, I guess everything hasn't, like, collapsed yet. What was that in the top left? I didn't even notice. Was that an achievement? Why are they in the top left? Did I just get an achievement? Oh god, wait, isn't this something where, like, yeah, volunteer, thank you for volunteering. I vaguely remember something about... Portal, like, kind of not liking you opening the Steam overlay. I had some, like, crashes when I played some other mods or something. I think. I don't know. Yeah, we got quick saving at least, and all of that stuff. 
you know, doesn't look to be in great shape, even though it's like many, many years before Portal, I guess. Portal 2. Not sure where it is on the timeline in terms of Portal 1, though. They didn't really specify. Like, if it's between the games, or if it's before even Portal 1. Uh-huh. We got some new symbols. Don't drink the water. These two, I believe, are new. Like, I don't remember seeing those from the normal game. Okay, this does sound a little loud to me. Just that humming. I wonder if that counts as music. Can we check that? Like... Eh, it's stopped now. We'll see. Well, going up instead of down. You almost always went down in those, I remember. Please remain the calm. may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. You will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. I don't. I don't believe that. I think I will just lower it a little bit. Let's try like lowering this and see what that does. Just a tiny touch. So if I turn off music entirely. Okay, very not responsive slider. Yeah, like I don't know if music even does anything. I guess we don't have technically don't have music yet. We'll see. Let's just see if he says anything about me having brain damage. Because I can't even figure out how to push a button. Cube and button based testing. Yeah, unfortunately we can't enter the, the portal yet. I bet there's an achievement of like waiting in here for like 10 minutes or something. But I don't think I really want to do that, so okay, fine. I guess I'm not brain damaged. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. I have the capabilities of pushing a button. Good enough for testing. Goodbye. Yeah, very uh, tricky puzzles right now. I'm not sure I have it in me. Oh, I thought it was stuck. Uh huh, but we probably need to take it here first, I guess. Yeah, I see. As soon as I get a portal gun, I'm taking all these out. Advise that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light sensing rods and cones inside your head. Yeah, it's very much like Portal 1 to start. You just get the same sort of tutorial chambers. Like, I guess it's, it is literally the same chambers in that sense. Wait, I want to go in here, right? Give me that. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations, and as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. And yeah, let's just check this out now. Portal 2 style crosshair instead. I don't see any difference. Huh? Didn't Portal 2... Have like little little dots next to the portal things to show you like if you had a blue or yellow portal out. So what's the difference between these? Simple. 
That just removes the whole portal interface. Hmm. Maybe once we get the orange one, it changes? Because, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing any difference between Portal 1 and 2. Oh, we're, like, going immediately into the chamber of uh, Lados or something? No? Okay, that, that's what it looked like. Performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. Oh no. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met. Uh huh. This again looks very similar to uh, one of the chambers. Where you had like a little window here. But I guess this is different. So what are we doing here? Oh, I see. We just do this. No vital testing apparatus destroyed. Oh, what am I doing? Shit. Wrong. My time is ruined. World record gone. Kind of feel like I want to up the FOV just a touch, because you could do that. Also, I had to turn on V-Sync. I hate having V-Sync, but like it was screen tearing like crazy without it. Let's do like. Mm, yeah, maybe a little less, 100. Yeah. It seems better to me. So what are we doing now? Just taking it back? Oh, wrong one. Yeah, I mean, it certainly is not, like, beginning at the end of difficulty in terms of, uh, like, Portal 2. But I guess they're talking about, like, after we get... Oh, right. Hmm. Oh, no, that's fine, yeah. They're talking about, like, uh, whoa, what the hell? After the tutorial and section. Congratulations, nice. Test subject number one. You have set the world record for this Just exercise, that good. and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. No one can rival me. I wonder if there's going to be, like, a big okay, difficulty spike here? where it starts, like, with basic tutorials and then it's, like, suddenly as hard as Portal 1 and 2 ever, get, uh, ever got. The next test may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful oh. to the retinas of some humans. The enrichment not me, apparently. Solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light-sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. That's kind of nice if this is just a normal laser. Like, they... I guess they just... They also agree with me that, like, the lasers doing damage... It's just kind of an annoying mechanic in normal Portal. Like, it just feels a little unnecessary, honestly. Because, yeah, like, it's never actually really a thing that comes up. It's just, like, annoying to constantly bump into it and stuff. So I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? Exactly. Oh, cube. We're trying to cube. Oh, 
And now we have to like go through here again, I see. Yep. Alright. You have completed the test. If you have not one sec. Have to like tweak a couple things. Sensitivity a little too low. Not done so already. You are permitted to open your eyes. Oh shit, I forgot to solve that with my eyes closed. Should have done that. Gotta be on the lookout for Ratman chambers, I guess, but surely they wouldn't be here at this point. I mean, maybe it's if it's earlier than Portal 1, but if it isn't, I guess they would be here. Fan mods can never, like, resist the allure of, like, random vent scribblings, like, wall scribblings Before and vents and stuff. Before starting the next test chamber, we would like to remind you that, so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. Well, we better test that then. Extensively. I don't even have anywhere to emancipate it. Hmm. Also, how, how does, like, flinging, cube flinging work in this? Can you do it, like, better than... Okay, you can't do it with the uh, clicking, it's just E, I guess. Yeah, you can, you can fling cubes. But I guess I won't for now. Just, like, curious if they, they change anything about the the way it plays compared to Portal 1 and 2. Well, specifically Portal 2, obviously. You see? Aha! Uh -huh. I guess we just get a new one, yeah. I hope it felt a great deal of pain. Uh, and we need to get over here, which I guess is fine, yeah? Yeah, so far so good, but it does feel like it's going to start ramping up a little bit. And yeah, even this? Yeah, they just like deleted laser damage because it's annoying. No one likes it. Damn it, you get to live. Well done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. All right. Getting some fling tutorials. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing, thing comes out. That is weird. Why is it doing that? Yeah, like when you're... Huh? What is happening? Like sometimes when I try to drop it on a button, it just like gets flung up for some reason. Not sure what's happening with that. Yeah, nothing else to do. And the music just abruptly cuts out. At the Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. Can we just drop that and have it, like, sit there? No, not really. See? What is that up there? What am I seeing? Is that a light? It seems like with the randomness it probably could like land here. But okay. What are we trying to do? Just like this, I guess, to begin with. But then. No, I need to, like, push this down as well. 
Hmm. Yeah, we can't just, like, run out. I guess I could do something like this, maybe? And then just have it, like, flung up and down here until I'm ready to step on here, and then we just, like, replace it. Like this. I guess that makes sense, yeah? Okay, I mean, now it's definitely, like, stepping it up a little bit in terms of trickiness. So then... Where do we... We want this on here. What is this music? Seriously, stop just, like, tapping two keys on your keyboard or your synthesizer. Let me just check. Is that even music volume? Yeah, okay, so let's lower that a little bit. Jesus, that music is going to drive me insane. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do this. We didn't want it here. We wanted it, like, over here somehow. But how would I get it there? Jesus fucking Christ, man. What is this music? Ah. Uh. Hmm. And, like, this one gives us a laser cube, I guess. Which we specifically need. Yeah. Is the music coming from the cube, is it? I think it is, yeah. But why? Why is it coming from the cube? I hate this cube. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm already kind of stumped. How can we get the other cube to this side and this cube to this side? Uh Because, like, even if I do this again, there's nothing I can do on the other side here. The whole soundtrack is going to be from cubes. The more cubes you get, the more of the music you get to hear. Oh, that just, like, kills that off, yeah. Yeah, I'm instantly stuck, I guess. Here comes that difficulty spike. I don't know if I'm missing something obvious, but I have no idea how you could possibly get either cube to either side. Like, it feels like you have to start with getting the cube, right? But then what do we do after that? What was that? Some, like, glitching? I mean, this this just, like, gets disintegrated, yeah, just to confirm. It's a normal Emancipation Grill, there's no special rules going on. Yeah, like... I guess this part doesn't even matter, like, I could just shoot the portal... Like, at any point, but yeah, like, there's no surface over here that I can get it to this side using, or with. Yeah, if anyone has any idea, I wouldn't mind a hint at this point. I already have no idea. All we can do is just get this cube here. And this doesn't, like, do an- oh. I see. I didn't even realize that this also not only switched the portal, also switched this one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that probably helps. But then, even past that, what do we do with that? Like, I, I could throw the cube out here, but surely that's not what you're, what you're supposed to do. 
I, I hate this. Holy shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? It's like the most annoying cube in the world. After this chamber, we'll, uh, we'll turn that up again. Yeah, like, the only only thing I can think of is just standing here and tossing it down, but, like, surely you're not expected to do that. You're, like, never expected to toss cubes in any portal game. That's only for, like, breaking levels, I feel. There are two cubes? Yeah, I know, but... Yeah, I guess... Oh, yeah, at this point, because this is gone, we can now, like, get this one, but... Yeah, like this, I guess. Okay, that's what I didn't get. I mean, certainly is a step up in difficulty, like, immediately, I feel. Yeah, okay. There we go. And then we, like, swap these two. Okay, and just to confirm, does the laser cube also have an annoying sound? It does. Why? Who thought this was a good idea? If that's going to be a like recurring thing in all of the levels, that's going to get so old so fast. Oh, we actually can go there. Didn't expect that. Hold on, let's save and have a look around. That's just going forward. It worked for Outer Wilds? Wait, what did? Coffee mug. Why? <laughs> I think that's quite different, the characters having, like, playing melodies on instruments is quite different from, like, cubes doing beep boop beep boop beep boop sounds constantly. Alright, well... Is it gonna, like, triple in difficulty again? Then I'm gonna get stuck real quick. As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Yeah, no achievement for destroying a chair, sadly. Okay, no faith plate over there. Do I have to, like, catch it in midair? Probably not. I don't think I can make it there. I'm just gonna land here. I see. Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. There. Try that. Good. That faith plate is now properly calibrated. This isn't, like, AI voice or anything, is it? Is it a real performance? Some lines sound a little weird. We've entered the uh, the era where you just have to like be suspicious of every single thing you hear and see now. Okay, so how do we how do we get the cube from here? We can like do this first, I guess. Oh, nice. So that's why there are holes in the ceiling. Yeah, like, it might just be a person that's kind of giving an AI-like performance, I suppose. Oh, terrible timing. I wonder if we can, like, do something up there to stop it. 
Damn it, really? Surely this is what we're meant to do. And I can't do it on this side. Yeah, we can't like air strafe during this part. I could could portal there. But that would just take me up in the ceiling, right? Oh, right. Wrong way around. Should have been later, not earlier. There we go. I see, and now we just launch, but hold on, let me like, let me try this to begin with. Just want to see what happens. Oh no, yeah, that is actually what we're supposed to do, okay. Great. Now we need a laser or orb? Is it the bouncy orb thing, or is it some new mechanic? Oh, it's those ball things, yeah. It's not necessarily a new mechanic, but it is a fairly underutilized one. From now on, all aerial faceplates should be configured correctly. I promise. Hard light bridges. Well you are nearing the Hard final light test bridges. Chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track. Like growing we'll something to make the light the bridges. Science, human emergency oh, just like solar energy, I guess. All right, advanced lasers, huh? They're still not harmful, which is nice. And this one... This one is not making any sound. They really did just want to, like, piss you off with that one level, I guess. I see. So we're gonna want to, like... Yeah, I think I, I get it. Well, I get one part of it, anyway. I mean, for now, let's just get over here. And I guess bring the cube. So what does that do? We just need to have that held down, I see. Hmm. Alright, well, then I'm not entirely sure. I thought we would do something with, uh... Like, having this... The laser go into a portal, or like... I guess we can do that or something? But no, that's not gonna, like... Direct over here, so that we can remove the portal and then, like, replace it to get this to happen when I'm on the elevator. What else am I doing? Why do we want this? Hmm. is like messing up again. Oh man, I just can't find anything that works. Yeah, I'm not sure like what we're doing now. Like that going up doesn't really help me. 
Unless I can go down. No. And sending it into the orange doesn't matter. We can't do anything with that. And having it like over here doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, once again. Feeling a little stumped. I guess here we can do like, ah, I see. Yeah, we can do this now. There we go, that's it. And then I can like remove this one and then just put it back on. Okay, that's one step at least. And then we get a second cube, yeah. And I have to like leave a portal here or something. All right, let's just like do it one step at a time. First off. Just place this here. Then we probably need to place this cube somewhere else, I imagine. Yeah, because it needs to be going into the orange now. Yeah, exactly. But then we need to also... Hmm. I guess I, like, leave it here? No? Yeah, I do, and then just make a new one. Yeah, there we go. Like, slightly tricky, but not too bad, at least. As a reminder... Your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science Hard Light Bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Yeah, they're just like speed running all the mechanics in terms of tutorials. Just like, remember this, remember lasers, remember balls, remember light bridges. Just quick rundown, just to like catch you up to speed so you know how they work. Okay, so why do we want to do that? What does that matter? Yeah, why would that matter? I guess I can like go in here now, but also why does that matter? Hmm. Yeah, what do we do now? Light bridges. Like why why would that matter having this on? Yeah, that does nothing. Why am I trying to do that? We can, like, get up here again and do something here, but... What would that be? Oh, right, that doesn't work like that. So I just need to get the box out here. I guess we can... No, I can't get in here in any way to get onto the launcher. Oh, I want to, like, block that? Right, I see. I didn't realize that was, like... Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. That was the uh, exit here, not an emitter. And... Wait, yeah, what do we do now? Again, I could just probably, like, toss the cube up there, but surely I'm not really supposed to do that.
Yeah, what are we supposed to do? I can easily just toss it up, but... Unless they, like, specify that you should toss cubes, I always feel like you shouldn't. But then what do we do? Like, I can get back up here, but... Oh, like this! Yeah, I see, and now we make a new cube, because then I can just go through, yeah. Okay, so what does this do? Just kills that, yeah? And that means... That means we can do the light bridge, okay. And what does that mean? We take a cube in here. And block it from this side. Just so I can... I see, yeah. Just so I can, like, get the light bridge again. Okay, this one is very, like, methodical. There's, like, just kind of one action you can take at any given time. And then we just grab this. Yeah. There we go. This feels like a workshop portal level. This feels like something someone would have designed, like, as a custom level. I mean, it is a custom level, but you get what I mean. Like, a custom individual chamber. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, I see. I've been had. Congratulations. You did it. It's always a core. Current Every mod. All demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down, after all. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. Yeah. The fans are, like, obsessed with these personality cores. Every single mod has to have one. Okay. Nothing much going on here. Dark in here, isn't it? The checkpoint is right there. Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter. Oh. No signal. But we were Whoa, what the hell? Did I I guess I accidentally scrolled the scroll wheel? Nothing else I can do in here? No? I was expecting like a PowerPoint of there some kind. Hmm. The controls are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? No clue. So we can't just go in there, but okay. It's timed, I see. So what what's happening with the timer? Hmm. Yeah, what does that do? We want to, like, destroy something here? At some point? Yeah, it is, like, an easy way to do a, a unique character. Or, like, we need someone to guide the protagonist. Let's just make it a core. But, I mean, it could have, could have also just been, like, pre-recorded messages, like Cave Johnson. Or just, like, an AI in the, like broadcast system or something maybe that portal can help again this is a portal i don't want to see like how many like clues he'll get he'll give but yeah what what are we doing are like why am i doing this sure that door right there doesn't open oh good idea i think that did the trick 
Like, what did that even do? Well, if you don't even want to try, become an after be employee. Very sure it's locked. Yeah, no clue why that's up in the top left instead of bottom right. I don't remember ever seeing one of these. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Wait, right? What way? I'm just gonna go this way. Well done. Not everyone gets this position, you know. You should be proud. Remember. A pull a day keeps the merge conflict away, huh? Oh, like coding pull? Yeah, I, I guess so. Wait, what, what are we doing now? Where do you want me to go? Like, this is the only new room we have access to. And he just vanished. Oh, he's here now. Oh, this this Cleaning is active now. I see. Don't okay. Hmm. All right then. Up we go. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like an in-universe type joke. Just more of a fourth wall breaking one, I guess. You've probably noticed by now that the facility isn't in great shape. It's a long story, so I'll cut it short. The central core in charge of maintaining the facility has been put out of commission. I tried to look after the place in her absence, but I don't have the tools. Good news though. I found better tools. A device capable of repairing the whole enrichment center. The only problem is that only a human can turn it on, so I hoped maybe you could fill in that role for me? Let me guess. It's gonna be weekly. In the facility is at risk if we don't stop the collapse. Come on, let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. It's like the thing that will save the entire facility. And he activates weekly and puts him in charge, and that's what what happens at the start of Portal 2, I guess. That's my prediction for now. We need to get closer to the surface. I found an elevator in this direction. Very few, like, details, like, things lying around. Usually in Portal you can just, like, read every little thing and see a bunch of little props and stuff. The sign has been treated with picric acid and can be caused to detonate when moderate amount of shock or friction is applied. Do not drop, toss, ignite, or touch. Damn it. Do we have anything I can lift? That would be a fun... Oh! Fun achievement. Ah, That would have actually been a really funny achievement. If you just took an object and rubbed it on it and it, like, blew up. And you got an achievement. Too bad. No fun allowed. Shift to crouch. I did rebind that, because shift is nothing. So why use control when you can use shift? Ahead is the turret disposal facility. Since they're all defective, they shouldn't be able to hurt you, but still be careful. Nothing. Okay. Just have to, like, try and push all the buttons. Just in case. I'm sure I'll need this PC.
Poor turrets. You might think that their pain is only simulated, but how is it different to yours or mine? They really don't deserve to be shredded, but don't worry. All their scrap will be recycled for production, and only surplus turrets get shredded after all. I'm sure it's very ethical. That was it? Like, load new load zone? We just wanted to, like, see the turrets so, get tortured? Looking through your records, and I see you have a family! How are the kids... Oh. Oh, no. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, forget I asked that. I... I am so sorry. Uh-huh. I mean, we know it's been 37 years. Minimum, since last... Unsuspended. Nice lighting. Very dramatic. I couldn't have just taken the stairs, could I? No, the stairs just lead to nowhere. Wind turbines, oh. of course. Try not to get blown away too much. These things can get supersonic if you turn them up. Okay, we can, like, kind of fight against it. So I guess you can, like, walk across here. No, not quite. Okay. Go in there. I mean, for science. Yeah. Okay, good. I am calm. Can I save a turret, maybe? Where are they coming from? Is it this tube? No! I almost got him. Hold on. Can I, like, sit on the very edge here or something? No. Oh, wait. Is that enough? Like, right there? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. I saved one. You're welcome, little guy. No, no, no. Get up. Okay, it doesn't work. Well, you're safe now. So, like, again, we could easily just take a cube up like that, but are you supposed to? Can I climb with a cube? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. And then, was there anything else we could do over here? No. Alright, so what am I using boxes for? I see. We actually needed to save a turret. Well, good thing I did. Well, oh. oh, hello? I guess my scroll wheel is very sensitive. Yeah, this is kind of a weird thing, because, like, this isn't really very clear in this mod. It's only clear because... God, this is loud. This is only clear because you've already, like, done it in the normal campaign, or, like, the normal game. 
But I mean, I guess that's fair enough to assume that everyone that plays this mod will have played Portal 2, so they know what this is. Does that not work? No? This one? What's happening with this now? We just have an infinitely burning turret. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, it's done. And it's totally fine. Okay, I am very confused by this level. Like, what's the point? Oh, I thought this was open. I'm sure you'll figure it out, so I will wait right ahead. I can't do it. This guy, though, he sucks. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the lighting is different from Portal 2, isn't it? Is that the normal portal lighting? Okay, they're real. Fair enough. Uh, do we see any portal surfaces over there? Yeah, I see. Climb up there at this point. Wait, wrong way. Yeah, now what? No, I can't like climb that. We can portal here. Anywhere else I can portal. I guess we just go up there for now. Go into the fan? Nope. No, we do not. I guess just like get past here, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's kind of keeping that whole feel of portal. Portal 2, I where, like, to be an official aperture employee. the pacing was always, like, a couple puzzles in a row, and then a more, like, just kind of story and atmospheric section, where you go, like, backstage and don't really solve puzzles as much as just, like, yeah, advancing and talking and stuff. Don't try running off without me, okay? I don't yes, even know where I you are. The human emergency response team, but so what? It can still be real. You are human. This is quite an emergency, and you are responding to it. Not quite a team yet, though. Hmm. No, no, a team can't consist of one person. That doesn't make sense. I could get more people, but that seems like a lot of work. You know what? I think we two make a great team in of itself. We might not make a fully human team, but you can't always get what you want. Semi-human? I'll go with that. Uh, sometimes he goes a little SpongeBob. You help me repair the facility, and I'll let you leave. I'm sure this guy could do a good Spongebob impression. Okay, very necessary ladder. I see. A little bit too late. Uh-huh. I want up there, though. There's a turret I could grab. What is this, the Pixar? Like, trial room? Hmm, not sure what's happening here. Hello, Soth. Not 
Damn it. Hold on. One sec. Voice not doing too hot. Come on. Please, what are you doing? Jesus, just go up the ladder. Thank you. Uh-huh, but then what does that do? Just opens this, yeah? Hmm, guess I can't get over there. Too bad. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, these sections are definitely very simple. Facility. Humans have to sit here all day and watch you test subjects solve the chambers. In real time, too. Imagine. Oh, damn it, my scroll wheel. I should honestly, like, just unbind that if I'm gonna accidentally keep, like, zooming in. You know, like, can I get rid of it? Delete? No? No, you can't just, like, not have a key binding? Okay, I'll put it on O and P. Because we just have toggle zoom anyway. So I can just click the mouse wheel when I actually want to zoom, which is just nicer in general. Because, yeah, I keep accidentally, like, scrolling up. Oh, secret. Now what? No? Was that actually what we were doing? Was this closed? What happened? You're running out of Mora. Yeah, time to start doing a bunch of ley lines. Also, make sure you're doing your weekly bounties and requests. Those give a lot of Mora. I guess that disc just opened this door. Okay. Game Design 101, from 2016, huh? When was Portal 2 released again? Am I shooting holes in walls again? Yeah. We're shooting holes in walls, and talking to robot balls. There's another observation room on the other side that can take you to the elevators. I'm sure you can find another way in there. You're pretty resourceful. Okay, that does open. Like, he keeps talking to me, but I never see him. I don't know where he is. Okay, that's only open for a short while. Ow! Sure, if there's no other way. I see. Do what you must. Just don't be reckless, and only destroy what you need. Any other repairs, I'll have to assign back to you. What else can I destroy? I'm tired of mopping up human blood. That red never gets out. Oh, we can just take a bomb to the face and be totally fine. Okay, I don't think he has to worry then. Ow. Work. You would think the blast would also knock this out. Ow. We're fine. Yeah, man. They really, like, dialed up the contrast in this mod. Dark areas are, like, extremely dark. Ow. Jesus Christ. Uh, what am 
am I what am I doing now? Do I really have to go all the way back? I guess so. Like do I do I have to do this? And then get up here again. Out. And then like from here, we do this so I can go back into it, I guess. A little like needlessly fiddly, but sure. we go. Gotta break this to be thorough. Good. Could have broken that as well. Oh no. Great. I think that's about all I can do. Wait, hold on. One more. Nice. Can I get in there? Wait, can I? Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to. I can't even, like, go in here. Okay. Didn't think that was the solution, so I guess we just go back again. Yeah. A lot of, like, snaking around. Oh, what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, this one feels a little bit like a chore, I feel. Okay. Just a little too much going back and forth. Emergency, do not lock. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, thank you. surprise for you after this last little hurdle. I know, I know. I promised no more test. Wait, no I didn't. <laughs> well then, here you go. I'll wait up ahead and, uh, prepare some things. Take your time. Is he gonna turn out to be the villain like every other personality core ends up being? Alright, so where do we start? Cube over there. Okay, yeah, now it looks like we're getting into the complicated chambers again. This one, like, immediately looks kind of difficult to, like, read. I see. I guess we'll go get the cube first. Yeah, did it say hurdle? Yeah, I, I didn't, like, register that either. He said, like, a hurdle, right? Not, like, hurdle as in flinging something. I don't remember the sentence. Yeah, so what exactly are we doing now? Why am I swapping this one over? We can shoot through here as well. And get up there, I guess. But, you know, why are we doing this? This is just going back, right? Yeah. So I want the laser to go through here. I see. But then we want... a box too. Here comes the gravitation beam. And I'm assuming we swap the places of these boxes. 
So we want this one to sit somewhere out here and then also direct the laser or something like that. So yeah, this isn't going to work, is it? It is. Okay. But then we need a laser here as well. I see. Or are you just, like, screwed? I mean, I guess you can go through the portal. Yeah, how do we get... The laser. Yeah, I guess that would be... The laser... Cube. Yeah, okay. We have to, like, do... All of this over again. Okay, so where do I want to take this, ex exactly? I guess we want to take it, like, here? Or something? game I played that has lasers? Well, I guess that's a fairly common thing, but you're probably thinking of Talos Principle, I imagine. That was like one of the core mechanics. Connecting laser beams. Yeah, so like, what do we do now then? We can do this kind of thing. But then I need this box back, which I guess is what this is for. I guess, yeah. Oh, right, that swaps this back. Yeah, we didn't don't really want that. Hmm. I guess that's fine, right? I can do this and then get over here. But then we have a problem. No, we don't. Yeah, because of the, the cube here. Okay, yeah, it works. Yeah, and now we've shuffled these, called it. You always shuffle the boxes. You never put the box on the thing that, like, the box is next to. Yeah, and then we can just blue portal here. So, fairly straightforward, but, like, a little convoluted. Like, many steps to it. Also feeling myself already kind of running out of steam Surprise! for this game, so uh, I might not face? play for too much Did longer. Bad? Yes. To the surface and beyond. To the oh, I guess we beat it, so never mind. mind. We're done. You're welcome, by the way. I know you humans love the sky for some reason, so I thought this would excite you. Yeah, we just beat the game. Eight-hour campaign, my ass. Look. I know what you're thinking. You really don't trust me. And I've done nothing but sounding like a raving lunatic or a sociopath. Probably both at once, if I'm going to be honest. In the interest of transparency, this elevator will take you up to the surface. Uh, only thing is, it's not all the way out of the enrichment center. When we get to the surface, 
We still have a little way to go before we can complete your half of the deal. I'll try to help you where I can with these old test chambers, but uh, there's been a lot of decay, if you catch my drift. But hey, look at the bright side. Time for the overgrown segments. Air, it's sunny outside, and I think there's a cool breeze. Just watch out for wild animals. Those are brutal. With any luck, this should take just a few minutes, and then you can go free. Hope we're in the clear now. The surface. Uh huh. Actual surface. Go take a look out that window for a moment. See that huge Great. spire in the distance? That's where we're headed. Little confession. I don't know for sure whether it still works. It is possible that there is just a pile of rubble waiting for us. Judging also, how torn apart this place is, I give that chance a possibility of. Ooh, you know what? Never mind. I'm a little surprised we still don't have the orange portal gun. Like they're really milking this like single portal thing. I hate to say it, but we need to find a testing track. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to torture you with endless testing. You already proved that you're capable. Problem is that these backstage areas aren't built to be as durable as the test chambers. To cover any ground here, we need to move between testing tracks. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a spin on the whole overgrown facility tile set, or whatever you want to call it. Wait. Ah, oh, crap. I wanted to get up here, but yeah, probably can't do anything anyway. Good find. But this testing track isn't in good shape. Hmm. There should be another one not far from here. See if you can find it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I figured Look that's not gonna button. work. This test is broken. You need to find another one. Uh huh. Can we like go anywhere out here? Nope. And then what is this about? Turrets? Wait, as far as the uh. The Steam page was concerned. It said it was like a an around like six to eight hour campaign or something, I think. So I imagine it's gonna be a couple streams at least. That's just going back. Wait, why did I do that? Oh, there. I see. And then we do have to go back. Wait. Then I could have just done that all along, couldn't I? No, I guess not. No, because we had to drop down and put a portal here to get the cube out. Okay, yeah, I see. That was necessary. The birds are doing okay. Probably got nice potato diets. Were those reflections that good in Portal 2? I'm not sure, like, what is just Portal 2 and what is, like, spruced up a little bit. Hmm. 
Yeah, what do we do here? I can just jump out, okay. That's much better. Might be a bit overgrown, but the hardware still works. Whoops. You really use fine materials for these tests. Have to protect your investments, after all. Unbreakable materials are expensive. Oh, you can pick up this cube as well. One. Yeah, so far, no secret vents or anything to crawl into. Surprisingly. Yeah, this is just like the classic chamber. Speedy thing goes in. Well, it's like one past that or something. It's like shortly after you learn about that. Which means there should be a secret like in here or something, but I don't remember how to get to it. Or here? Like behind here? Yeah, I believe there was a secret there in Portal 2. Like one of the radios or something? Yeah, don't think we can do that now. And this just opened the door, I see, yeah. Man, it's so bloomy, it's insane. Like, the bright stuff are way too bright. It's, the bloom is crazy, and then the dark stuff is, like, way too dark. It's just, like, the contrast is turned up pretty... and pretty insane amount. Did you know that this iteration of your Aperture Science handheld portal device has been specifically configured to not shoot portals further than eight kilometers? That's not true. Yeah, they quickly learn to limit the range on these things. Huh? Easily end the whole world if you put a portal on the side. No, what do you mean? That's not true. Are you forgetting the ending to Portal 2? Was that an anomaly? Like the portal gun, that one was special? That doesn't really make any sense. You know, I wasn't aware that the surface is in such a rough state. You don't want to say it before, but this place is such a mess. This will take so long to clean up. Whoever did this was very thorough in their work. Yeah, I... I honestly feel like this is a little too dark, but I don't think we can, like, change that in any way. There is no, like, contrast or anything. HDR tone mapping. Wow. Yeah, that, that improved it. That just made everything darker. What the hell? Okay, I'm not sure about these. Color correction? Bloom? Now, now it's just really dark. Dynamic volumetric lighting? No. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Contrast up to 11, I guess. Not really anything. No, no, no. Not motion blur. Nothing you can really do about that. Wait. Why did it not, like, update this one? That's weird. Hold on, let's, like... Do that. There we go. Just to apply it. Oh, whoops. Also, what does this button do? Opens the door, I see. So, I guess we're just launching across. Hmm. But then how do I launch over there? I 
can get like over there instead. Does that help? Yeah, man, those reflections are like insane. It's almost like unrealistically reflective. Yeah, so let's get over here instead, I guess. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, that works. Ah, oh, damn it. But then this still doesn't help me entirely. Because, like, we get this here, but then I still need to get over here. Oh no, yeah, that's fine, I guess. We just do this. And then that, and then jump. Yeah, okay. realized you don't even know how this all happened well long ago aperture was run by a central core capable of monitoring and maintaining the okay so it facility. is between portal one and Certain two at least outsourced to other cores like me everything was great you know a true utopia until one human test subject this little monster just had to ruin our lives and killed her and that's that. Most of my colleagues either went crazy, died, or disappeared. What else were we supposed to do if we can't fulfill our purpose? Hmm. Okay. What do we do here? Can't really do anything here without the orange. Oh yeah, I guess we just do this. Yeah, there we go. Classic. I wonder if we get some like good sort of break point. I don't know how many chambers there are in this specific segment. This is definitely getting to the point where I want to like take a break and swap games. So now what? Do we just do this to begin with? Nope, that's not enough. Same thing again, I suppose? Yeah, okay. Also classic. I promised you could leave once we're done, but if you ever need a job in the future, don't hesitate to come back. I'd rather say this before it's too late. Use the gels sparingly. The tanks aren't being refilled anymore, and what's left won't last forever. Once they're empty, we're gonna have a little problem. The well, gels are also, also kind highly of corrosive and will eat through metal and skin given enough time. Might be good to know. Also kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess it gets stored like I'm the only one using gel, but you know, it lasts all the way into Portal 2, and there's, like, infinite gel at that point. So it doesn't really seem like that's a thing. But yeah, I think I think we should just leave it off here for today. If we're now introducing gels, and, like, this seems like a proper puzzle, it's probably a good idea to just end it here. But yeah, like, so far, it's, it's alright. It's good. I'm not, like, blown away by it. Neither the, like design or visuals or like voice acting or story or anything like it's it's all serviceable it's definitely good for like a mod it, it's like high quality but yeah not not like completely sold on it yet personally but it did say there were a bunch of like unique mechanics that I guess show up later on so we'll see about that we'll see if we ever get the orange portal if that happens but yeah um, Definitely gonna keep playing at least, but for now, let's take a break and I'll swap over to some super liminal.